Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with a crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Expos and the San Francisco Giants. It's Baseball on the Show and it's coming up next. Number 54 gets the start for San Francisco in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. So stepping in, Marcus Grissom. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And that fastball is taken but catches the outer third. Guys, you take a look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. They come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Yeah, Matty, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Dero, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four of the first five, that sets up a really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that roll going. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Nope. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. Really good at bat here from the leadoff hitter as he'll force him to throw another one. The next one two pitch. I got to count two and two. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Three two pitch. This is line to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Tip your cap if you're the pitcher right there. That was a great battle. Couple of tough pitches. Offensive player able to work himself deep into the count. Pitcher on the attack. But chalk one up for the offense on that. So now to the plate, Orlando Cabrera. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The average to start things out at 324. No home runs as of yet, and 11 RBIs. The 1 0. -oh. A swing and a miss, strike one. And there are our umpires for this one. Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Well, D. Rowe, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there Scully, because that's Scully. not the case. But as Hold an through. offensive player, you have to find a consistent. No, he and he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? Works his way on base to start the game, and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. The 2-1 home. Liner in there for a base hit. 
and they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Hey, d are you hard. aware of this? After that no, knock right there, that's an 11-game hitting streak. You think he knows it's at 11? I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know, you wake up, you've been sleeping easy for oh, almost a week, eight days. Now we're on 11? This guy's dinner tastes different. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Fouled off. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, or looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. At the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses, strike two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Into center field, line drive base hit. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 0 lead. That is fifth, the third base hit. Number 96. Stepping in now, Stefan Segui. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Fouled away. Sagi is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods, but I don't think people realize the amount of time and That's effort it. this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. One out. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. Cabrera on third. Guerrero on its second with two down. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And this ball's going to get down, and it should play to couple. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 3-0 game. That's a monster at bat right there. A one-run lead is fine and everything, but a three-run cushion feels a lot better. And that's where they stand right now after that three-bagger. Plate now, Will Cordero, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. The 
the 0 1 pitch. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0 and 2. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Three runs already home here. And this is swung on and missed as the 30th pitch of this inning finally does the trick. The side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Expos on top, three to nothing. Butch Henry, a Texas-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. What's your take on him, Dan? It's not an easy thing to do to pitch as a rookie, but one of the things you have to do is use the positives. The opposing team has never faced you. You can't be afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. Establish your pitches and try to work quickly. Now to the plate, Royce Clayton. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not your job. Royce. Here's the pitch. Right there for strike one. And guys, you take a look at our visitors here with the early lead tonight as we play the bottom of the first. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Maddie, this team is oozing confidence right now. They were playing well coming into this game. And what do they do right out of the shoot top of the first throw? A three yep. spot up okay. on the board. They got the opposition on their heels. Henry is coming off a win in his last start, the first of his major league career, so I'm sure he's still riding high from that achievement. Hit in the air out to center field. Grissom is right there, one down. Batting set, the center fielder, Willie McKee. Standing in, Willie McGee comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. The wind up and the 0 1. On, he just ramps up and here's the fastball by him, 0 and 2. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2 is swung on and missed strike three. One of the toughest pitches to hit the straight change of right L Cambio. Hadn't That's seen correct. it in that entire at bat. No, what happens? Gets Very the string good. pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Into the box, Barry Bonds. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. The 0-1 pitch. And he lays off for ball one. And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. Low with the fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. 
pretty easy pitch to lay off there two and two not even close to being in the strike zone he made it easy for the hitter in that one now the three and two pitch he is swung on and missed he got him so they're held in check here this half of the inning one inning in the books here Montreal leads it three to nothing Stepping up to the plate, Darren Fletcher is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High in the air into shallow left center. Bonds comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Got it, got it. Okay, here's how San Francisco lines up defensively. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five, fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning, keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. In now, Butch Henry. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound and they are just going to ambush tactics and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting wrong. Standing in now, Marcus Grissom yep, as he out. looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. The 1 0 home. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Wow, and the hits just keep piling up for them. Take a look second at the numbers here. That's already oh, six uh, hits, and we're only in the second uh, inning. We'll see if they can keep this up as the innings go on. At the plate, Orlando Cabrera as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One for one after a single this first time up. The 0 1. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Matt Williams. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch of the at-bat on its way, and no swing apparently, ball one. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Here comes the 1-0. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Woo -wee. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Now here it comes. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Popped him up. Fletcher moving to his left. One away. Batting fifth. The right field. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. 
They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. Into the box now, number 32. As yeah. he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. One out, nobody on. Weak roller right side. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The first baseman, number 38. Ready now, number 38. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, Two out, nobody on. Ball Perhaps two. a little low there. It's 2 0. Oh. Henry Go has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. In this day and age of smaller ballparks, the ball's lively, the bats are harder. No this friend. guy does a great job of keeping the ball in the ballpark. And one of the keys, he's not predictable. He'll throw his off-speed pitches behind an account. He's really difficult to sit on just one pitch. Hey. Taking all the way, and it's 3-1 and one now. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Hit hard up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, this was a good start for the pitcher. First five guys, five up, five down, but the number six hitter proved to be a little bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy after watching his first five brethren take a seat. So now to the plate, Robbie Thompson. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh. The belt, one and one. Hey, two. A runner on first with two away. Now a throw over, hey. back in standing. <laughs> the one-two. Oh. Wow, really close pitch on Owen, oh dude. That just missed, and if he hits that spot right there again, he might get the call next time. Fouled off. Two out with the man at first. On the ground to the right side. A dive and he knocks it down. And a good effort here, but he's well safe at first. And there are two on and two out now. Batting it. The pitcher. Yeah. Three. At the plate now, Jeff Reed, as he'll come up empty oh, there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. Two down, runners at first and second. Pitch ball. taken several inches below the zone, in fact. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. A ball and two strikes Down, now. One and two. The one-two. 
Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Now another 1-2. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. On the ground to the left side. Reined in. Throw on to first and the Giants will be turned away here as that ends the inning. Giants leave a couple. Still down three nothing. Now at the plate, Moses Alou. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one. For the current campaign, Alou brings a batting average in the low 220s to the table. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. The 2-0. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting. The right fielder. Vladimir Guerrero. Coming to the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero. He reached on a single in his first try. Here's the pitch. Drilled right back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Now batting. Number 96. Over to first. Into the box, Stefan Segui, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 1 0, and they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. McGee is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting. The first baseman. Cliff. Floyd. Digging in. Cliff Floyd. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. From the stretch, here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. McGee is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. And now the Giants pitcher, number 54. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Number 54. Now here's the pitch. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. One ball well, and one strike to the leadoff man here in the home third. 
I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. A ball and two strikes to the Giants pitcher. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, well, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now, Royce Clayton. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Guerrero in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Now back. Center fielder, Willie McGee. Digging in the switch hitter, Willie McGee. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a nope. little bit more. Forward. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Now the 1 0. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him looking and that ends the inning. Giants are down one, two, three. They trail it here three to nothing. New inning set to get underway. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Will Cordero. Will Cordero. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. One and one. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Ball. A little bit outside. Count two and two one. And one. Now here it comes. Fouled away. The 2-2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. Into the box now, Darren Fletcher. He flew out in his last at-bat. First offering on its way. Hit hard back up the middle. Beautiful diving stop. Got him. Now back the pitcher. Good. Henry. Stepping in, Butch Henry. He singled his last time up. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. Two out, nobody on. A great job of changing speed there. It's 0-2. 
Hey, you think back to the early innings right there, you thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Slow little grounder, left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Barry Bonds, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Barry Bonds. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In there, strike one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Called strike two with the letters. 0-2 oh now. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. High in the air into shallow left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batting, the third baseman, Matt Williams. At the plate, Matt Williams. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Into the bleachers, and gone! A solo shot here to left. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Giants cut the lead a bit. It's now a 3-1 to one ball game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Now battle. Number 32. In now, number 32. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole, and that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. To the plate now, number 38. Help as the first pitch to him is a changeup. He can't find the zone. It's ball one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Look out, 2-0 oh now. No well, giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that last pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with his release point right now. He doesn't know where it's going, and he knows it. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect. 2-1. and one. one run, four hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Rounded weakly down the line toward third, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. In there, a base hit. Second base, baby. Robbie Thompson. Into the box now, Robbie Thompson. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. And 
look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. So in now for San Francisco, Jeff Reed, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First offering on its way. They'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. This is a situation where you have to step out of the box and tell yourself, my job is to get the runner in from third. It'd be nice to gap one and get them both in, but you want to take a little pressure off the offensively and just focus on being productive. Bases are loaded with only one out. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Ball three. Ball three. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. Challenge pitch coming. Here it is. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Full count still. The next three, two. Another one sent foul. Oh, and nope. it misses four, four. ball four, and that will force home a run. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get yeah, him to that. chase, but he that laid off some ball. really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Next to hit will be the pitcher, number 54. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. Now a flare out toward right center. Right fielder coming on. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Now that is good stop. Good. Good day. So the lineup flips over and digging in Royce Clayton as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Here's the first pitch to him. And that swung on and missed oh for strike one. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heat. Come set the 0-1. One out away from straining that runner on third. So the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Nice job there by the catcher to knock that one down. One and two now. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Two runs, five hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Marcus Grissom. Now the pitch. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game. And I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. And there's...
There's a line drive, base hit to left field. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. Hey, not a bad Batter way to start the nightcap. Three at bats, three base go. hits, Dero. Yeah, the pressure falls off you after you go one for one. Two for two, all smiles. Three for three, get the party started. Standing in now, Orlando Cabrera. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and oh. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Line drive to left. Bonds has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Now batter, left fielder, Moses Alou. In now, Moses Alou. First things first, here's a throw over. And he'll dive back in safely. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high and deep to right center. Long run for the center fielder. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now batter, the right fielder. Vladimir. Guerrero. Ready once again, Vladimir Guerrero. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Prior to the at bat, a oh, check on first. Don't want to forget about him. From the stretch. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one-two. High in the air out to center field. And a reach here, but this gets past him. And this one could be trouble. Throw in won't there. get him. Hey. hey, with two strikes right there, he's trying to run that ball no up and in to try to tie him up, but it didn't quite work out. Yeah, in today's game, everybody's fighting so hard to keep their hands inside the baseball that I think... A non-executed pitch on the inner half, Dan, is exactly what the batter's looking for. Something he can keep his hands inside and just fist to the opposite field. At the plate, Stefan Segui, as he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Got it. Nope, After down. fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with their manager, Gabe Kapler. And one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at-bats when they've got runners on base. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with a big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. All right, Heidi, thank you. Really? First offering on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The left fielder, number 25. 
Barry Bonds. Coming to the plate now, Barry Bonds. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball, that's his time. Now the 1 0. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And that's in there. Base hit. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Boy, after that base knock right there, D Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Now time called here as the manager pops out of the first base dugout and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll head to the dugout after working just four and a third. Not enough to qualify for the victory as his bullpen will have to go a long way to hang on to the lead. Cliff Lee is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. Cliff Lee. Blake now, Matt Williams, as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's working on a one for two game so far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Going back is the right fielder, and that ball is over the wall, out toward the cove, a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, his second home run of the game as they take the lead 4-3. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Now back. Number 32. In now, number 32. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Still only one out in the inning. Lofted in the air out to right field. Guerrero is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Now batter, number 38. Digging in and looking for more, number 38. Two base hits, both singles to this point. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 0-1. Left side, scooped up. Throw in time and the side is retired. Bye bye baby the Giants strike for a pair as you get another look at the two run dinger five innings complete it's now 4 3 San Francisco stepping into the box Cliff Floyd he'll lead things off here in this one run contest first pitch coming here it is and that change up makes him jump a swing and a miss. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both the left-hander and the right-hander get loose. Off the 
played an in. It's a ball and a strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw to first oh. gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, the cookout, Will Cordero. Into the box, Will Cordero. First pitch on its way. The bouncer to the left side, reined in. And quickly, there are two away. Now back, catcher, Darren Watcher. So digging in now, Darren Fletcher, he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. 4-3 our score here as we play inning number six. Pulled toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Robbie Thompson. Robbie Thompson. Here comes the first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Line towards center field. Grissom is there, and he has it for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Now at the plate, Jeff Reed. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One he didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. And it's fouled away. The one two goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batter. Number 54. Number 49. We'll grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 49. Strike one to start the at-bat. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Oh and one, here it comes. Hit hard towards center. That gets down and the inning continues. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. 
I guarantee you at release point, he wanted to pull this pitch back. Change up middle of the plate usually gets deposited in the seats. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Royce Clayton. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. The 0 and 1 delivery. Grounded to the right. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on board. So now to the plate, Willie McGee. And so take a look at ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ball and a strike. And it's one and two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Giants leave a couple. Then it remains a 4-3 game. Steve Fry is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Day Vidro will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Jose Vidro. Owen won the count. Still plenty to be desired in terms of batting average down in the 180s entering play. One home run and five driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This one's flared off to the right side. And there's a base hit, so a good job off the bench to get him started here in the seventh. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. To the plate now, Marcus Grissom trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Oh and one, here it comes. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Fouled off. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Just a bit low, a tough call, but it's two and two. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Orlando Cabrera. Stepping in now, Orlando Cabrera. As he runs up to bunt, but can't make contact at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh, 
one. Here's the pitch. In the dirt here. The runners will stay put. However, the count evens at one. He's set. Here comes the one one. Looking to drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Number 19 is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 19. Into the box now, Moses Alou, as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 0-1. Ball, that's it. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Soft liner to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here, still with now only back. one away. Boy, not the prettiest of swings, d -Row. That looked a little bit from the Vladimir Guerrero book, but nonetheless, he got the job done. Yeah, a little choke and poke right there. He flipped a bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass. Not pretty, but he'll take it. First pitch of the at-bat. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And he will look at a cold third strike. Oh, and a big one there as the bases stay loaded. And there are two gone now. Digging in to try it again. Stefan Segui. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. to hold the lead here's the delivery a ball and no strikes big spot two out possible tying and go ahead runs on base hit hard down the line and he tries to get to the backhand but it gets on by one run is scored and the second run will score as well you know, it's awfully difficult to score runs late in the game after being yeah, down by one, d -Row. That base hit drives him, too. That's a huge base hit. What a momentum swing. What an A-B right there. Now you got to grab your leather and go out and flash some D for the boys. At the plate now, Cliff Floyd as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Two men are on with two men out. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. 
Right fielder looking up for the track to the wall. Gone! So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Third home run for him on the year, and they double him up. It's eight to four. Well, this guy's been unhittable all year, but eventually you knew somebody would get to him. That's the first home run he's given up all year. But like all good relievers, he has to have a short memory and put it behind him. Dennis Rasmussen will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. Dennis Rasmussen. Into the box, Will Cordero, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. High in the air out towards shallow right. Number 32 is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, but not before five cross the plate with the big blow being this three-run home run. Get up and stretch. Montreal is out in front here, eight to four. Gil Heredia gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Heredia. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Barry Bonds. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Here comes the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. And that's swung on and missed. So good work on the mound. will take care of the National League's leading hitter. And there's one away. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot. And by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate, Matt Williams. He swings and grounds it to short. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Now hard right. single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. To the plate now, number 32. Nope. So he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 0 is in there for strike one. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Runners on first with one down. Fouled away.
Here now the 2-2. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Grissom is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batter, number 38. Now at the plate, number 38. Two hits and three at-bats for him in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. Her ball bounces, and this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Two and out count. Here it comes. Not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a three-one count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. Just got a piece of that one, perhaps shortening up now. We'll get the ball in play. Two out here and a runner at second. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. One left for San Francisco. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. Striding in, Darren Fletcher. For Montreal, the catcher, Darren Fletcher. First delivery to him on the way. No balls and a strike to count. Lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder giving chase, but he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there, or probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game, so if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. Larry Walker will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Larry Walker. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. No one out with a runner at second. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Debo, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. So now to the plate, Marcus Grissom scooped up. There's one, and the throw will be wide at first as it pulls him off the bag and a run's going to score. The batter number two, second baseman. Russ Ortiz gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Now pitching for the Giants, number 48, Russ Ortiz.
Orlando Cabrera will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. He's set. Here it comes. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. The 1-0 home. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Yeah, batting now averages batting. are much better 1-0 on a count than they are when the count is even. They opted to go with a pitch out to lead off the at-bat, and it obviously cost them. No real damage done yet, but now they've even got a tougher situation to deal with. Into the box now, Moses Alou, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. One there, relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Around the horn they go, five to four to three to end the threat. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Jeff Facero is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Leading off the inning, Robbie Thompson. And they'll need him to get something going here. First pitch of the at-bat. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And this is foul tipped as he stays alive here. But meanwhile, that ball came right back at our home plate umpire, and he may need some attention at this moment. And it's fouled away. Another 0-2 coming. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The catcher, number 41. Yeah. Three. Now with the plate, Jeff Reed. 0 for 2 with a run batted in for him thus far. First offering on its way. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. 0-1's oh, the count. Too much count. dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Two balls and a strike. Facero, a left-hander that stands six foot one inches tall. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number two. Up next to the guy. No pitcher. Dave Martinez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number one, Dave Martinez. In there for strike one. 
The average sits at 286 here to start play. Two home runs, 10 RBIs. Fork ball misses, one and one. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Into the cove, but foul. And he fouls this one off. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The next one, two pitch. Right three called, and the inning is over. Giants down in order. They trail it here nine to four. Rod Beck enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Riding in once again, Vladimir Guerrero. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Vladimir Guerrero. First pitch on its way. Oh one. Here's the pitch. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Settling in now, Stefan Segui. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball inside. And a good slider here to start the at bat, but it's ruled a ball. One and all. Too much bite on the sinker, and he's behind two and oh now. Pitch on the way. That's ball three. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep too. Here's the 3 0 pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they now won't get it out on the play. Standing in now, Cliff Floyd. Oh, so yeah, take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's going to pound away, might have to work the opposite field. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Runner at first here. One man out. Lifted the other way to left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. 
Oh, and a highlight reel catch there, no doubt. He laid out to sacrifice his body, brought it in, and secured it all the way to the ground. You know his pitcher really appreciates an effort like that. Stepping into the box, Will Cordero. He's set, and the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Two-seam fastball, Down sinker. Back. He stayed inside it. Didn't have the action the pitcher would have liked. You know, that's a sinker right there, Mark. It's intended to be down in the zone. And this pitcher better get the ball down because he can't live up in the strike zone. In now, Darren Fletcher, as he'll take a look at a sinker here. Too low for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Grounded to first, right to him, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Striding in to start the ninth, Royce Clayton, and they'll need him to get something going here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Count one and oh. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Ripped down the line, and this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The baseball is a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question. He's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. At the plate now, Willie McGee popped up. Floyd is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. The left fielder, number 25, Barry Braun. Digging in now, Barry Bonds. He's one for four for the game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. 0-1 for the count. One out and a runner on second base. Aye. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Oh he Aye. struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right now there. And he struck out twice the before that one. Play. So he's going to have a lot to think about Real when he job. leaves the ballpark tonight. To the plate now, Matt Williams. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. The 1 0. Misses no, down below the knee. 2 0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Going back is the left fielder. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His third home run of the ball game, And just like that, it's down to a three-run ball game.
Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick. But how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball equivalent of a hat trick, and that's awfully hard to do. John Whitman takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Whitman. Into the box, number 32, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Well, this one's been a bit of a head-scratcher, despite their home run production today. Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D-Row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball game. That's ball three. And he lays off a pitch just below That's the knees. It's 3-0. and oh. Number 38 would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two out, nobody on. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. The three one. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Last strike here for the Giants. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And a late swing and a foul ball. Almost took it out of the catcher's glove. That was coming in hot. Fouled off. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Nine to six, the final tally in this one. The Expos posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Cliff Lee earns his third win of the year in relief. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.